So good morning and welcome back to Tech Edu Tips. I um, was a little bit sick last week so I didn't make any videos past that first one at the beginning of last week. Uh, before I do anything else I want to do a bit of a shout out to recent subscribers. Uh, recent subscribers here Sebastian Caputo, uh, Karina Montiel, y Ana Tuaneta Morales Gracias. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the subscription. Switching between Spanish and English. I do these videos in both. And then the latest comments, Hector Quinto Ramirez uh, wanted some information about what software I'm using to record videos, so I'm going to do something about that. I promise that. And then Francisco Ramon Castro asked me about um, backup options for computers. So I think I've done videos about that in the past, um, but I'll update that again um, in this series of Tech Edu Tips again. So thank you for subscribing. Um, Go ahead and subscribe if you want to receive alerts of, of new videos. More importantly, put some comments in there if you want me to do something specific. I want to talk today a little bit about Raspberry Pi because they're cool. Um, I have a Raspberry Pi behind me in my, in my office set up on my network. It's not a Pi 4. I think it's a Pi 3. Uh, there's new ones like this keyboard. Really cool just computers that you can use to learn with, um, great for, for children to learn how to program computers. You can set up all sorts of fun projects with them. But I've been using it for various uh, home projects like uh, backup service with, uh, with um, sync thing and for this project which is called Pi-hole. So the idea here is we're going to use this as a DNS server locally to our, to our home. And DNS is just simply translating if I type an address like piehole.net or raspberry pi dot, what was it, .org, I will get sent to a place on the internet which is actually a numerical address. So DNS translates names to numerical addresses. It's a whole bunch of levels to make it faster. By default, you're using the one by your provider. And often it's slow. Often they are... Uh, analyzing those logs to sell that data about what you're accessing from your home. And so many of us like to change our DNS to something else. Um, you can use Google's DNS, that's popular. You can use services like Quad DNS is an excellent option and, and also add some filtering for security and privacy. Um, Google does as well. And then Cloud uh, uh, Open DNS from Cisco, because Cisco bought it a while ago, is another good option that I've used over the years. Uh, these are all different DNS services that can be faster, can be more secure to block sites that are just malicious um, or just advertising that is malicious. So that's what I'm using. So I'm using Pi-hole. It's pretty interesting. It also will speed things up because all of the clients in the house are not going out to the internet to ask for these translations. It's going inside my house and that little machine back there can do the work of translating addresses to numbers, um, to, or names to, to numbers. And so this is the live view of, of my, um, my system behind me. So it's working, it's filtering almost 20% of the sites are being blocked because those are probably advertising and data collecting services and things like that that I'm blocking by default. You can configure it to do different things and permit different things. Uh, but it's pretty cool. So Quad9 is an option. Again, OpenDNS is an option. Google DNS is an option. These are all usually, um, I would say 99% of them are going to be better than what your default setup is. The only trick is you need to configure DNS. So you need to change on your computer or on the router or modem that comes in your house the settings for DNS. And it's pretty simple. You can have it uh, configured in your router or in your modem so that it just changes what the DNS server is. In this example, they're pointing to the Google DNS servers, but we could use our Pi-hole, which is a local network address, or Quad9 or OpenDNS or whatever you want to use. So that's the basic gist of this. I just wanted to give an overview of uh, how to improve DNS um, in terms of speed, in terms of security. Um, and safety on your network and uh, if you've got any other questions I'll probably do a bunch of videos to do with home uh, working and making a more secure and safe environment for your home office setup. Uh, hopefully that's helpful. Go ahead and subscribe if, if that's helpful to you and even better for all of us is put some comments in there about things that you'd like to see me record. 
Have an excellent week, and I will be back uh, for the next one.